Yeah, everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So I'm out here today again testing the new African Air Ordnance Super Valve. A little bit of a change today. Jeremy sent me a different uh, top hat. This is a higher flow top hat with a uh, larger bore diameter in the valve. So it should be letting more air out each shot and increasing velocities. And the other thing I'm gonna be testing today is helium. So a lot of you probably saw my uh, video from last year testing the 357 with helium with uh, very significant uh, velocity increases. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, who knows? I might be able to get 900 and who knows, maybe even a thousand foot pounds of uh, energy today shooting the uh, super valve on helium. Here we go, let's do some testing. Let's see what we can do. So today we're shooting with 4,350 PSI on a carbon fiber bottle. And we are shooting the Hunter Supply 350 grain flat nose. Shot number one. Woo! Oh, holy cow. 963, that is way above 700 foot pounds of energy. Yeah, for this test, we're gonna be at uh, right at 3,600 PSI. Um, so this is gonna be equivalent to shooting off of one of the Talon Tunes carbon fiber tanks. Those can be filled to 3,650. And let's see here, I'm gonna be shooting the uh, Hunter Supply 350 grain flat nose again, just to show you what this can do on a lower, uh, lower PSI setting versus 4,300 or 4,350 or 4,500. So yeah, let's see what this can do. Here we go. Nice. Yes, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Had this filled at my local scuba shop. It's a uh, 4,500 uh, PSI tank with 100% helium. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna actually start off at, what is that, 2,500 PSI on regular air. And then I'm going to uh, fill it up the rest of the way to around 4,350 with helium. So we'll be shooting some of these pills right here. Uh, this is the Texan Max from High Arc Hunter. 450 grains of pure lead devastation. All right, let's sling a couple of these and see what it'll do. So we're at about 4,200 now on helium. And what I'm noticing with the helium, since there was about 2,500 PSI of regular compressed air in the bottle, it's actually getting faster. Um, so with these 450 grain slugs, let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's over a thousand feet per second with a 450 grain slug. Holy crap, it is massive. Okay, switch over to these. These are the uh, Nick Nielsen NSA uh, boat tail hollow points. You've seen in other videos that I've shot, this is a really great projectile to be shooting if you're shooting the 45 Texan, very accurate. Um, let's see what this will do. The tank is getting a higher ratio of helium to air. Uh, this is probably the grain weight of projectile slug hollow point I'll be hunting with. So just to kind of get a benchmark um, on helium, let's see what this will do. Here we go. Holy shit! Oh my god! Wish I had my calculator. We got to figure out what that is. Here, let me fix my uh, chronograph here. Okay, here we go. Second shot with the NSA hollow point boat tails. Here we go. Wicked. Okay, so let's practice a real world hunting shot. I wanna get this dialed in with as far as uh, shooting five power. Normally I shoot 20 power um, off the bench, but in a hunting scenario, I'm always shooting at five power. My lowest setting on my Hawk scope 
want the uh, widest field of view to pick up the game, pick up the deer. So at five power, I mean, I'm really probably at this velocity, I'm only holding over like a half of a mil dot. Problem is, it's just you're not nearly as zoomed in. So the precision on these shots aren't going to be as nearly as, uh, as much as a, as a bench shot at 20 power. So again, I'm just hoping I can get five shots in the vitals. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. And again, these are 350 grain projectiles. I'm shooting off regular air now at 950 feet per second. All right, here we go. See if we can get this dialed in. I think I might have been shooting a little, little high to the right. Let's see what we can do. Here you go. Let's take a walk. Not bad. I'll take it. So yeah, basically I was holding over right about here. my group it's a high shoulder shot now with the foot pounds of energy that I am now slinging with this slug this last year with my stock Texan would not be a shot that I would want that right there you're, you're basically hitting a, a high shoulder shot roughly and when I used to hunt with powder burners right this right here that deer is gonna boat anchor every single time when you do that uh, shoulder shot like that it's gonna hit that first shoulder go through basically the top part of the lungs, hit that back shoulder, and usually it just puts the deer down immediately. Now, now when you're hunting with air guns, shooting like 300 foot pounds of energy, and even some of those lower ones that are like, you know, 215, 225 foot pounds of energy, you really want to be back here, okay? You don't really want to be getting up into the shoulder blade area with a gun, an air gun that's in the 200 to 300 foot pounds of energy, 400 foot pounds of energy, maybe. But now that my gun is pushing 600 to 700 foot pounds of energy, I'm going to be, I'm going to be taking that shoulder shot this year and see what it's going to do. So get onto YouTube and look at um, shoulder shot deer or high shoulder shot deer, and you will see more times than not if you can do this kind of placement on a deer with a powder burner, that deer is going to go down immediately. Boom! It's going to basically break both of its shoulder blades, go through its vitals, and it's going to go down right away. When I talk to hunters, first time hunters, and tell them like where to shoot, especially archery hunters, I always tell them make a straight shot about four or five inches straight up from that armpit, and you're going to be right in here somewhere. Now, with an air gun, big bore air gun, 200, 300, 400 foot pounds of energy, I'd say that same thing. I'd say you're probably going to want to be in here. You really want to miss that shoulder blade and that bone that's coming in right here. You really don't want to be hitting that bone because um, you really want to get as much penetration as you can with that slug. But now that I'm shooting with this super valve, 600, 700, I mean, hell, if I shoot, if I decide to use um, helium, I'm over a thousand foot pounds of energy. That, that's the shot I'm taking all day long. High shoulder shot, it's going to boat anchor that deer. So there we go. As far as accuracy goes, I'll take that all day long. Awesome. All right, so there you have it, the super valve. Massively powerful, accurate at 100 yards. So yeah, so basically I burned through all the helium doing the, uh, the foot pounds of energy testing, so I didn't even have enough to take some of those 100 yard shots with it. But you know, cranking it back down to regular high pressure air uh, at 950 feet per second with the 350 grain projectile. That's it, guys. That's a dead deer all day long. And again, those high shoulder shots, I think that's that's the shot that I'm gonna try to take this year. Now, depending on how far away I am from that deer, my shot placement's gonna change. At 100 yards, I'm probably gonna come back to the left a little bit and go for those more high percentile uh, vital shots. Now, if that deer's 50 yards and in, I might take a chance and go for that high shoulder shot and see if I can boat anchor him right in place. So anyway, get out, do as much shooting as you can, know your gun, 
Learn your gun inside and out, all different pressures, the bullet that you're gonna use. And you really wanna know what it's gonna do at 100 yards and in. And again, like I said before, most deer shots I take are 50 yards, but I really wanna know what I'm doing at 100 yards. And like I said, that holdover, it's like a half of a mil dot. So basically anything that in, I'm basically gonna go straight, probably crosshairs right there on that top shoulder blade. And you know, that, that bullet's gonna fall somewhere right there in the vital zone. But again, if I can get that high shoulder shot at a 50 yard and in shot, let's see if we can get it on camera. So anyway, so again, everybody, thanks for joining me. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Thanks.